Hello everyone. So welcome to the channel of RD Automation Learning. So today we are going to see the testing interview questions and answers asked at Accenture company. So this was the interview given by one of my subscriber and she has shared the questions that were asked to her. So let us look at the questions and answers. Now, what are the advantages of extent report? So one of the basic advantage of extent report is that it can be integrated with test ng as well as J unit. So many of us are using test ng, right? So it is easily, uh, you know, that's a good feature to be integrated and it, it can be easily integrated. So that thing you can tell. Another thing is if required screenshots can be captured and displayed for each step in a test. Then they also allow testers to track multiple test case runs in a single test suite. And then the time needed for the test execution is also displayed. And it is easy to customize them as per the you know, uh, needs of the uh, view picture or as per the graphics that you need in every step in a test. So these are basically the advantages of extent report. The next question that was asked was what are the hooks in cucumber okay now why cucumber came into the picture because she had mentioned cucumber btd framework and all those things in her resume so this question came up now cucumber supports uh, hooks which are blocks of code that run before or after each scenario okay so uh, you can basically define them anywhere in your project or step definition using the methods that is before and after and uh, we can also say that uh, cucumber al hooks allow us to better manage the code workflow and helps us to reduce the code redundancy so these type of uh, questions you will get in the accenture interview if you are mentioning btd framework or cucumber then next qu next question was types of exception in selenium uh, so element not visible exception if selenium tries to find an element but the element itself is not visible no alert present ex exception so let's say if i'm trying to automate or handle an alert box using the code but the alert itself is not present then no such attribute exception like while trying to get attribute value but the attribute itself is not available in the dome okay so this was the question like time type which are the types of exception in selenium do you know or which are the types of exceptions you have come across while automating any application or in your project so this type of question can come or they can also ask about what is web driver exception what is no such element exception or what is no alert present exception what is element not visible exception so there are types that these questions can come to you so at the same time no such element exception is this exception is due to accessing an element which is not available itself on the page and at the end web driver exception so when the code is not code for initialize web driver is not available so that web driver exception will come okay so this is the uh, basically types of questions that you can get around exceptions okay okay now coming back to the bdd type of question so these questions are not in you know a sequence uh, she has given me the questions based on how she could recall and in the same manner i have created this video what is background in cucumber so background in cucumber is used to define a step or series of steps that are common to all tests in the feature file now it will also allow you to add some context to the scenarios for a feature where it is defined okay so let's uh, take an example for this let's say you are supposed to test a gmail website now in order to test the gmail website you need to go through the login page over there you will be entering the username and password you will be clicking on the submit button and then once you are into the gmail then you will be testing the you know compose email delete email draft email functionality spam emails functionality and all those things further so over here if you see this example so login page and entering data in username and password field so this becomes common to every test okay so instead of writing them again and again for all the tests 
we can move these two tests that is navigate to login page and submit username and password within the uh, this with with the background keyword so so then so then what would happen now you can focus on your rest of the test that is compose email test delete email test okay so this is how you can uh, explain them about the background keyword in cucumber okay what is test ng or explain test ng this was also asked so it is nothing but an automation testing framework and ng stands for next generation so using test ng you can generate a proper report you can easily come to know about how many test cases are passed failed or skipped you can execute the failed test cases separately okay it is inspired from the j unit which uses the annotations at the rate and it overcomes the disadvantages of j unit and is designed to make end to end testing easy or you can also they can also ask you is it possible to run only the failed test cases in test ng so these this type of questions can come in now what is bva and ep so bva is nothing but boundary value analysis and it is a kind of testing technique i would say and ep again is a equivalence partitioning it is also a testing technique with the help of which basically you are writing the test cases okay so coming to boundary value analysis it is a black box testing technique it is used to check the errors at the boundaries of an input domain the name comes from the boundary itself so which means limits of an area okay so bva will be focusing on both valid and invalid input parameters for a given range of a functionality let's say if it's a text box and it supports 1 to 10 characters so you'll be testing minus 1 0 1 and you'll be testing 9 10 11 okay that is boundary value analysis okay what is ep so that is equivalence partitioning okay it is a software testing technique again or i would say black box testing technique that divides the input domain into the classes of data and the test cases can be derived from that okay so over here you can see uh, the text box is of percentage text box and it is accepting values it will accept values between 50 to 90 so invalid will be less than or equal to 50 again invalid will be greater than or equal to 90 and we will be focusing we will be testing the values that are between 50 to 90 itself so that is a valid class valid set for you while uh, less than equal to 50 and greater than equal to 90 are invalid sets of classes or testing for you okay so these were few of the questions that were asked in an accenture based interview let me repeat these questions for you okay so in this video uh, we have covered um, the accenture based testing interview questions and answers first one was advantages of ex extent report then what are hooks in cucumber then types of exception in selenium then what is background in cucumber okay then what is test ng then what are the different testing techniques or i would say what is boundary value analysis what is bva what is ep equivalence partitioning okay and then you can also get some questions around uh, you know testing scenarios like uh, tell us the testing data test data for this particular text box or this particular field based on boundary value analysis based on equivalence partitioning or they can also ask question on cyclometric complexity okay so thank you for watching this video stay tuned for more videos thank you